Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Investing for the Common Man, the channel that helps you save both your time and your money with short, concise, instructional videos. Today, I just want to give you guys a really quick overview and walkthrough on how to set up and get the most out of your Thinkorswim platform. If you're watching this video, you're probably new to TD Ameritrade and are trying to figure out how to get the most out of the tools that TD Ameritrade provides you. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download the Thinkorswim software to your desktop. And then once you load that up and log into your account, this is the first screen that you're going to see. There's really not a whole lot going on because these are all the default settings. Um, so one of the first things you're going to want to do is decide what sort of look you want. Um, so you're going to go up to the top right corner where it says setup, click on that and go to application settings. Um, here we have a lot of options. We're not going to get into all of it now. Again, this is just a really sort of quick overview walkthrough for beginners. Um, there's really a lot of customization to the software. But the first thing I want to look at is look and feel. Um, here you have the option on a couple different color schemes. And for me, this is actually a really big deal. Um, one of the defaults is this light color scheme. It, you know, it's white, black text, green and red text on white background. And I really don't like this personally. But um, I know other people that, you know, this is their tried and true um, setup and they really like the light color scheme. I tend to go for the dark or even the old school thinkorswim, which is a, another dark scheme with some, some different color options here with yellow text instead of white text. Um, so once you've picked your preferred setting, um, there's some other things here like font size. So if you want thing, if you want to squeeze a lot of information on the page, you can click small. Um, if you want to, you know, sort of, Make sure you can read everything, you can get, click extra large. I tend to go some, somewhere in the middle, large or larger, somewhere around there. That's what I tend to prefer. Um, once you've got that the way you want, go ahead and apply settings. Um, the next thing we're going to look at is um, some of the different uh, screens that you can look at here. So some people always are drawn to this home screen up here in the sort of top right, top mid right section. If you click on this button, it takes you to this screen here where you have um, some customizable widgets as well as sort of a, uh, an information stream here. Um, this page is moderately helpful. Um, you can set up some different widgets here like you can uh, do a heat map of a watch list. So if we go in here uh, by industry, we go to maybe we want to look at tech, information technology, communications equipment. Um, here we can see sort of a visual representation of how different stocks in this area are doing today. So dark red means it's down um, a significant percent. Um, green would mean it's up. Um, and you can see the ticker symbols here. This is something you can use. Um, there's another place you can find this later. I'll show you that. Um, there are other types of widgets like your working orders and the, the profit and loss for your account. Obviously, this is a default settings new template. So there's no information here yet. But that information can get more useful as you start to use your account and want to look at you know, how well you're doing with your trades and if you're profiting or, you know, maybe your trades aren't turning out to be quite as profitable as you think. Um, the home screen can be somewhat helpful, but really you're going to spend most of your time in these tabs right here. Okay. So the monitor screen, there's not a lot here right now, but this is where you sort of see your account breakdown. So any positions, any stock you own, any orders that you've sent are all going to be on this screen. Now, of course, there's no information here because I haven't done anything yet. Um, in future videos, I'll sort of show you how this works and we'll place some trades and walk through some of that and how this will look once you actually have some positions in your account. The other thing I want to mention is on the left hand side of the screen, you have this toolbar here and this can be minimized or expanded and you can even click and drag to, you know, give more room over here. Um, and this is a really customizable bar that's super helpful. No matter what screen you're on, all of these widgets will be visible. Um, and you can come down here to the little gadget or the little plus sign if you want to take off widgets or if you want to add things. Um, so you can add you know, a calculator. You can add Trader TV if you want to watch news while you're trading. Um, you can set up Tetris if you, uh, you know, get bored during the trading day and you want to play some Tetris. Um, and then you just come out of this gear and hit the X mark if you want to get rid of that. Um, some really helpful things to have on here is your account info. You can see your buying power. Um, you want uh, you'll probably want to see news on different stocks. So this is different articles that are coming out during the day on you know different positions, and you can just type in a, a ticker symbol here, and news will show up. 
There's Trader TV where you can watch the news while you're trading, um, watch lists, and then quick charts. Um, what I want to do is set up a watch list really quick and show you something really cool you can do. So you've got default watch list that TD Ameritrade sort of curates for you, but you're really going to want to create some of your own. So I'm going to create a watch list, come up to here. Let's do a tech watch list. Okay. So we'll just name that tech and then, you know, big tech companies. So we're talking about Apple, Amazon, uh, let's do Microsoft. Uh, Facebook, Google, and then let's just throw in like Uber or something like that. Okay, so you've got a few stocks on this watch list. You can go ahead and save that. And these will show up here. So you can minimize this watch list or expand it. Now, one of the great things you can do with these widgets is you actually chain them together. So if you look right here, you see this sort of chain link icon. You're going to click on that. And you basically there's a color coding system. So we're going to set all of them to one right now. So we do red one here, go up to the news, red one, um, go to this quick chart and do the red one. All right. So now if you do this, if you go and click on something in any one widget, all the other widgets will know what you're looking at and show you that information. So say I want to look at Apple and I click here in my watch list. Now all of a sudden I have news that shows up for Apple as well as a quick chart of how that's trading during the day. Um, and you can do this, you know, as you as you work, you click on different things, Facebook, get information. Here you can see a little news blurb. This is, you know, breaking news, um, or not necessarily breaking news, but recent news on the stock. This can be really helpful as you're sort of going about your day. Um, now that we've looked at that, um, if you want to see a more expanded chart, you know, this is just a little real quick blurb of how it's during the day. We can go over to the charts tab here. So again, our on the left-hand side of the screen, our toolbar stays there. But now we're looking at a much bigger chart. And you can customize a lot of things here. We're not going to get into all of the charting skills. But the first thing you want to do is go up to, um, we might have an icon here with a D on it. You're going to click on it. This is the time frame, OK? So, so you want the default is probably going to be looking at a year's worth of history. And each little bar on the bar chart is one day. Okay, so if you want to look at a much more broad, you can look at the you know three-year weekly chart, or you can zoom in and look at like the five-day, 15-minute chart. So this is five days of information, and then each little bar on this chart represents 15 minutes. Um, another way you can navigate around these charts is you can click uh, with your left click and highlight if you want to zoom in on a section of the chart. So that zooms in there, but we can come down here sort of minus out to zoom back to where we were before. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with the style of this. If you don't like these uh, standard traditional bar charts, there's a lot of different options that you can look at. Um, you can also draw on your charts and do studies. I'm going to make a video about that in the future. So let me know in the comments below um, if there's any specific things you want me to cover. Um, another great tab to look at is the market watch tab. Okay. So here we have more of these heat maps. This is a little ridiculous. There's too much information here. You want to zoom in a little bit. So we're going to look at um, one of these drop downs here, maybe the indices. Okay. So if you want to look at a particular indice, say the S&P 500. These are the 500 companies that make up the S&P 500, of course. Um, and so these are sort of some of the biggest countries in America. So you've, you've got Microsoft, you know, Apple, Amazon, Tesla, Disney is over here. They're all organized by ticker symbol. And you'll notice sort of this, this collage is sort of mismatched with shapes and colors. I'll tell you what those mean really quick. Um, the bigger the block is the bigger the actual value of the company. So of course, Apple is the most valuable company in the world. So it has the biggest square here. Um, whereas say um, Cisco here has a market cap of 191 billion whereas Apple has a market cap of $2 trillion. Um, so obviously those are, have different weights on the indice. And since the S&P 500 is a uh, market cap weighted indice, the larger companies, when they move by 2%, are going to move the overall indice more than, say, one of these smaller companies like Micron or Home Depot. Um, and then the color scheme, as I said before, the brighter red, the higher percentage of a down day that stock is having, and the brighter green, the higher percentage of an up day. So if we go to say uh, MasterCard here, MasterCard is up 2.48%. Um, if we look for something brighter green, maybe over here, this little tiny one, we have Marathon Oil that's up 6.57%. 
Um, so this can just give you a really quick overview of what's going on in the market. Sometimes you can, um, and you can also look at, say, your watch list too. So I go down to personal here in this drop down menu, and this is just the watch list I already set up. So there's just five companies or six companies here, and we can see, you know, Facebook is the only one that's in the green today. Um, this can be a good overview um, while you're trying to figure out what's going on in the market, what sort of trade you want to do, or you're doing your research. Speaking of research, the next place I want to go is the Analyze tab. Now this tab um, really just has a ton of information. The best place to go is the Fundamental section of the Analyze tab. And then you can pick a company. Again, we have them chained together here with this, with this link. So if I click here and I click on, uh, let's say Facebook, then I can see information on Facebook. So to start off, we have some ratings by analysts on, you know, we've got a couple of organizations that are pretty bullish on the stock. They think it's a buy. We have one that, that thinks it's, it's uh, more of an avoid at this point in time. You get a little description of the company and what they do. And you can scroll down and see a lot of data on, um, their past earnings per share, dividends per share. Um, you can scroll down and look at, one of the good things to look at is price to earnings ratio right here, or price to cash flow ratio. Um, these are really good metrics to look at when you're considering purchasing a stock and you wanna do research to make sure that that stock is a good investment. Um, if you guys are interested on how to research a stock and what key metrics to look at, I know that this is a little bit intimidating when you get all these numbers right here. Uh, let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to make a video on how to research, you know, buying your first stock or, or you know, how to do basic uh, background analysis and, and to really consider, you know, the pros and cons of an investment before you make it. And then uh, the last tab I want to look at is the trade tab. Um, here you're not going to see a whole lot um, if you haven't set up your uh, thing to link, but once you click on a stock, um, the first thing it's going to show is is options. So if you want to trade options, this is the option chain here. You also have your Forex trader, your futures trader, um, and a couple other tabs here. Um, you can also trade stock, of course, if you if you right click um, here on the the ticker symbol of the stock price or the bid, then you can choose buy, sell, and start to place an order. Um, that takes us back to the monitor tab, which is this is going to be your home base to look at your portfolio and how things are doing in your portfolio once you actually have positions going. So going forward, I'm going to do a few more videos on basic skills you're going to want to learn if you're just getting into investing or maybe you're saving for retirement. Um, if you have any topics that you want me to cover or any questions, let me know in the comments down below and I'd be happy to cover those and design a video around those. Um, in the next few videos, I'll be talking about how to buy your first stock with TD Ameritrade, um, how to research a stock you want to buy, how to cancel or change an order that you've placed in Thinkorswim, how to add studies to your charts in Thinkorswims, and then how to trade options and multi-leg option strategies, not necessarily the strategies behind them, but how to physically do that in the Thinkorswim platform. Um, if you're interested to learn about investing in general, stocks, options, how they work, I've got a ton of resources on the channel. Please go check out some of those um, and let me know if there's anything anything missing there and I'd love to, to fill in more content for y'all. With that, I just wanna wish you all a wonderful start to your trading career and encourage you to keep calm, stay healthy, and happy trading. Mm -hmm.